You're here to educate and talk to the young adults here about why hazing needs to end, why you need to watch out for each other, and why you need to keep each other safe. The parents of an LSU pledge who died during a hazing incident two years ago are hoping to prevent another hazing death. Tonight, Max Gruber's family shared his story with students on campus at UL. As Chris Welty reports, they're hoping no other family has to experience what they went through. It's our top story. This is what Max would have wanted us to do. Um, we read a passage that Max had written. Max was a journalist, and he wrote that God works in funny ways. He does bad things in the end to create good. Max's parents, Rayanne and Steve, say that message put them on the path to create good out of loss and tragedy. In the last year, they've traveled across country to share the dangers of hazing. We want them to be able to feel that they're empowered with their voices to talk about it, to prevent it, to if they know it's happening, to be able to stand up for themselves and for their friends to say no. It's they need to be comfortable with an uncomfortable conversation. The UL students we talk to believe it's important to not shy away from these tough talks. The more we talk about it, the more the conversation evolves. And hopefully, you know, if we keep talking about it, one day hazing will be eradicated once and for all. It's a problem that spans across the whole nation. Just like drunk driving or anything else where people know it's a problem but don't quite face that problem, um, it's something that we have to take head on uh, one day at a time but keep pushing forward. The Groovers say those who have experienced hazing will live with that trauma for life. They believe it's important to speak up if you see wrongdoing. There's still a lot of work that needs to come with, with respect to education and even learning about what the law is and what it entails for prosecutors to be able to use it properly. Tuesday, the Groovers will take that message to LSU. In Lafayette, Chris Walty, KTC TV3. Well, last year, Governor Edwards signed Max's bill into law. Hazing can now result in up to five years in prison and a fine up to $10,000. UL has a zero tolerance policy. They've also added ways to report online allegations of hazing. It's most important that we, we stop it early and we report and we make sure that we continue the conversation and holding students accountable uh, for this behavior. The tropics.